guys, welcome to another video. Hope you all having a great day. I have some new projects coming up for you. Um, super excited. One of them is the uh, 20 liter aquascape you see right here. That will be planted very soon. A few other projects, but today I'm especially excited because all the plans for these uh, projects just came in. So this huge box just came into the mail. Uh, these are the plants, they are from, from Danale. Um, as most of you know, I'm a big fan of the Danale brand. Uh, my first aquascape was in a, in a Danale Nano Cube. Um, but I've actually never used, used Danale plants. Uh, most shops that I, that I go to, they, yeah, they don't sell Danale plants, which is a bit strange. Then it makes sense because I live in the Netherlands and here in the Netherlands we have a lot of um, plant farms, plant companies. Um, but I really wanted to use Danale plants, um, so they sent me this huge box full of uh, full of plants, and let's see let's see what's inside. All right, let's open this bad boy up. All right, so let's see what we got. Um, let's start with the in vitro pots. Um, what we have here: Oh, Hygrophila pinatifida. This is actually one of my favorite favorite plants. It's a beautiful epiphyte, but can actually grow in soil as well. So if you want to buy Hygrophila pinatifida, I always suggest that you you buy them in vitro instead of just a regular pot. Um, if you buy the regular pot and they've been grown immersed and the plants are really big and really big leaves, and they take a long time to convert to the underwater form. So if you can buy them in vitro. Uh, what else do we have? Hemianthus calitricoides cuba. Well, this is a classic, of course. A beautiful carpeting plant, very small leaves. It does need a bit of bit of light and CO2, but um, if you supply it with those things, then it will grow quite fast. Um, we have two pots of that. Next, uh, Marsalea hirsuta. Really like this carpeting plant. Looks a little bit like a tiny clover. And you can actually grow this one without CO2 as well. It's quite an easy carpeting plant. It doesn't grow too fast, which is which is nice as well if you don't want to do a lot of maintenance. Yeah, I think we have two of those as well. Now we have one more carpeting plant. Uh, Microntamum twee. Tweedy eye, I only know this as, as Monte Carlo. My grandma Monte Carlo. I think this is, I'm not sure if this is a new name. Let's just stick with Monte Carlo, it's a lot easier. Okay, so this one I'm really, really excited about. Uh, here we have Bucephalandra species Sidembu Brown. I've never kept this type of Bucephalandra before, but I've, I've seen some pictures. It looks really good. It's like Brown leaves with a um, sort of like pinkish pink flower. Look really good. Two of those as well. Okay, last but not least, we have Ricardia camadrifolia, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, Ricardia, let's just call it Ricardia. Yeah, this is it's sort of like a moss, but it's actually liverwort. But it's just, yeah, it's really beautiful. It grows, grows quite slowly, but I think if you want to use moss in your aquascape, then this is, yeah, this is a really good choice. Two of those. Okay, so that's all the in vitro plants. What do we have here? Uh, Salvinia auriculata is a floating plant. Yeah, I really love to use floating plants in new setups. They really help to, uh, to soak up all those excess nutrients and, and prevent algae. So we use, always use them in the beginning. Now we have another floating plant here. This one I've actually never used before. And this is Azola, Azola filiculoides. It's a really small floating plant. Never used it before, but I'm really curious to see how this will grow. Then we have some more moss, uh, Taxifilum barbiri, also known as just regular Java moss. I think we have a couple of those. Yeah. Four packages of Java moss. And then here we have another one, Vesicularia species triangle mousse, that's German. This is just uh, Christmas moss. 
Okay, then we have the regular pots. What do we have here? Uh, Hemianthus glomeratus. This is a beautiful, really small stem plant. Very... I'm not sure if it's the same or is it very similar to uh, uh, pearlweed. Pearlweed is the regular name, I think. I think we have a couple of those. Three times Hemianthus glomeratus. Next, some more Bucephalandra. Bucephalandra Pygmea Bukit Kalam. Okay, that's a very complicated name. I think this is the same as Bucephalandra Wavy Green. Just a beautiful Bucephalandra. It's one of the easiest, a bit more fast growing Bucephalandras. Next, another Bucephalandra. Bucephalandra species Lamandau Mini Red. This is also a very common Bucephalandra. I really like this one. It grows actually quite quickly as well in my aquascapes. Next we have Cryptocorine Lutea Hobbit. So this is a really small Cryptocorine. I really like this one. Beautiful for, for nano aquascapes. I think this is one of the smallest Cryptocorines out there. It does grow very slowly, but uh, yeah, just a beautiful plant. I'm a big fan of crypto greens. So another crypt. This is crypt when the TI compact. I think we all know the regular when it when the TI. So this one should stay a little bit smaller. I think I've also never used this one. I think the only only Denale has has this crypt. So I'm really curious to try this one. What do we have here? Ah, Gratiola viscidula. This is, um, this is a plant that I've only started using recently in the, um, in the contest aquascape. This is a really, really small stem plant. It grows very slowly, but uh, yeah, it's perfect for nano aquascapes. Okay, next we have Myriophyllum species Guiana. This is a really small stem plant as well with really fine, fine, delicate textured leaves. Also very good for nano aquascapes. Uh, we have another Gratiola viscidula. And the last plant, uh, there's no card here, but I know this one, this is the Ludwigia species mini super red. It's the really, uh, yeah, the really red Ludwigia. This is one of the easiest red plants that you can buy. Okay, that's it. Just a quick little uh, plant unboxing video. Uh, I'll get started on the 20 liter aquascape today or tomorrow and hopefully have that video up by the end of this week. So you can have that to look forward to. Uh, let me know in the comments guys if you ever used uh, Denonet plants and what was your, what was your experience with them. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.